Now I'll come back to a game where we hopefully find spatulas. I wish I could hurt you. I mean that to sound exactly as bad as it sounds. So we have a lower platform and a higher platform. I'm trying to take the higher platform. I get the impression they're both about equivalently difficult to traverse. From the little preview I got of the other portion from when I fell down onto it earlier in the last episode. It's not going up the steps, it's difficult. It's going down the steps. And the, syn the synchronization is different for each set of platforms, it feels like. Well, they're just not in sync in general, from what I can tell. Yeah, like, look, look at that. Now that one's actually fairly out of sync with this one. It doesn't go very far, though. I don't know if I want to just go... all in and use... <laughs> they're in sync now. And use the spring shoes to try to jump as far to the right as I can. Simple jumps in this game are so terrifying. At least precision jumps, even if they're small. No! I hate it when I land on the ledge of a platform and I don't stay on the platform. You just fall off sometimes. part of how this game works. Alright. What are you here for? More pants. Okay, I didn't really... And if I had no health, I guess that would be nice. To start with. From underwear to hall manager. Manager? Monitor. <laughs> Should I just spend like the rest of my time here pondering what a hall manager would do. Sounds like a fun exercise in thinking. <sighs> okay. Amusingly, this actually has similar colors to the final level of Spider-Man Mysterious Menace, which I mentioned last episode. I actually figured I'd be finishing this game a bit sooner. I didn't think there like, I didn't think there was much game left and there wasn't, but these last few parts of the game are going by fairly slowly. Again, the one thing that makes this game playable is that it's very kind to you, very generous with checkpoints and whatnot. do another one of those jumps. The spring boots, I guess. This game doesn't seem to reward you very much for finding secret stuff, though. Like, okay. Cool. I put in all that work and now I'm just here... where there doesn't seem to be much of anything special about this place. I could see the enemies that are trying to hurt me. Like, patties, that's all I got. I gotta get something more. Whoa! Just give me pants, thank you. for the job. There we go. It's kind of weird. Why do we go down to the bottom of rock bottom just to go back up somewhere? Thank you. I'll drop him back down there, though. So that's the left. Good 
Goodbye, go away. Good job missing me. I appreciate that very much. Like, what is this? Oh, this is the lost civilization, I guess. You can see, see a little bit of their architecture. Ah, no! Really? I better respawn up there. Oh my god. Is the lower path any easier or anything like that? Out of curiosity. Since we know there are two paths here. I think that's at the very end too, like we found the lost civilization. There might be a boss there. There might just straight up be the end of the game right there. Jumping. At least the way these platforms are synced up here makes that easy, easy to do. It's a little bit tougher to time it that way than some of the others. Why would you do this to me? Like, <laughs> this game is malevolent. This game is so cruel to you. Why am I playing a game that doesn't want me to play it? Feels like I'm playing Takeshi's Challenge or something. Alright. We're almost done, though. I just need to keep my finger on that button to get rid of that when I see it. That one's not a problem, but that one is. Does that take me right in particular? I'm guessing I have to go up from there. I'm guessing it's above me. That takes me to... the top area again. Honestly, I think I prefer taking the top, since I don't have to worry about flying jumps upwards or dealing with the bird that way. You know, I think the platform might be a bit harder. It's hard to be certain. The platform might not be harder. I think I was just being silly. That's interesting. I didn't realize there's a lower platform here. Give me a for a second. Gotta take cover. Cool. And a quicker draw. Anything fun here? There is something fun here. This patty. Why does this game stick such mundane things in its secret areas? Away. This kills me, I'm gonna be so angry. What happens if I manage to like force myself to get pushed through a wall? Hmm, okay, nothing in particular. I was even looking to try to avoid that issue. Thank you. Go away. Thank you. Being dressed with the pants at least. Okay. So earlier when that guy got me, it wasn't even when that guy knocked me off into the great abyss. He didn't even kill me directly, he just knocked me into <laughs> knocked me off of there. Those, that particular breed of enemy, the big hulking guys that just walk around, whatever specific variety they happen to be. Ha! Ah! It's not coming. Those ones have a tendency to push you really far and they hurt you. Alright. I'm very 
pansy without being an allocation like this. There we go. Are we? I think my s I'm hitting my head there, I think, or something? Hey, yeah, another secret thing, which is, which is just... What's all the secret patties in this game? Give me, like, an actual secret cool thing. Like, give me those glasses I never found. Apologies for not being able to find everything in this game, by the way. Or show everything. Namely the glasses, which, like, I, I can't even find any record online of anybody else. I managed to find them, which is strange. And the, the one spatula upgrade I never got, but... Hey, we're gonna get the golden spatula. Why would we want to worry about the other ones? Hot stuff on a hot stove. I have? Also, what? It's kind of weird. How did Rock Bottom end up getting connected to... to that stove? Like, I could've just taken a bus here. Like, we saw the bus stop when we got here. Oh, I'm sorry. I never noticed that. Really? This has been happening this whole time. What? That's weird. The very top and bottom of this game gets cut off in the recording. You can't see the top of that T, for instance. That's weird. I, I can't fix that. I get, my program just doesn't see the rest of the window. Anyways, the best of what? No, well, this probably won't. That patty thing probably will help me with the final boss. But okay. I'm also gonna need to like not waste all of my whoops. That's mean. Waste all my ammunition here. Taste star birds! Although they do give me patties here, at least. So I guess that's the idea. Not pants. Look at that thing you do. But also patties. Yeah, okay, cool. I figure I might as well just finish off the game now. I can skip that dialogue, cool. Not much way for me to dodge that, it feels like, but okay. Here I can just... I probably can't really spam the, spam the attack button, but I can do that. Still takes some actual timing, because otherwise I'd leave myself open if I swing too early. Don't know if I've ever seen a bloated ghost like that before. At least he like, progressively shows damage. Excuse me? Okay. I figured that would, like, be the end there. Let's get these pants again. <laughs> we didn't even get a cutscene. Which is less than the other bosses. Anything fun to see up here? Up above? No? There's actually a ceiling here, it seems like. Yeah. I guess the spatula's just back here. Yep, there you go. Take that battle from your bottom. I now have enough spatulas to leave my house. Shing, sparkle, sparkle. Yep, and game over. Except, except for that one time. So I dropped in and delivered that one order to help us out jungle. Okay, well this was a strange little game. I do think this is interesting to think of as a precursor to Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And maybe Revenge of the Flying Dutchman was this game done right, at least the GBA. And the GBA version of Revenge of the, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman seemed to think so too. Considering that you can get a little on the endings for that game, as I mentioned before in this playthrough. 
is actually a screenshot of this game. Which is amusing as a detail. But, yeah, this didn't really work out so well, this game. Um, like, graphically, I don't care. Like, the game looks fine. It's, it's Game Boy Color, you can only do so much. But, that doesn't mean you couldn't do better on the gameplay. <laughs> like, jeez, I don't expect much from like the story or whatever of a licensed game either in general. Especially a handheld one. That doesn't bug me too much either, but... Ugh, the enemy placement in this game, the... Hazards being off screen, or even just platforming and whatnot. You're, the camera's too zoomed in, but if it was any less zoomed in, you probably couldn't make out the characters, I realize. And at the same time... Nothing just felt nice to control or remove in the slightest. Like the most basic elements of this game. Platforming and moving around enemies, especially platforming, feel terrible. Like, is this the worst SpongeBob game I've played on this channel? Not the worst game I've played, but is it the worst SpongeBob game? Maybe. SpongeBob games tend not to be this bad. I would say. I think they got. I think the relevant parties realized after Balfour Bottom that there's benefit to be had in making a licensed game that's actually decent. And while most SpongeBob games after Balfour Game Bottom were nowhere near that same quality, they were still generally alright. I think the worst SpongeBob game I played at after about that came out after Balfour Game Bottom was probably the, the SpongeBob Walker one. What was it called? SpongeBob Hero Pants. And that wasn't because it had low production values or anything like that, or because it just felt terrible to play. It felt fine to play. It just it didn't feel like a SpongeBob game or anything. It felt really bland. Just on the other hand, moving and doing anything was horrendous. Nothing to, nothing to do or see here, in fact. I already watched Scrubbits, so there won't be much point in seeing Scrubbits again. Oh well. But, it's... Music Alex. It's something that I figured I should acknowledge at some point. And this is a game that I own myself, so I figured it would be interesting to try out. And it was interesting, alright, but shoot. I didn't have fun or use this game to begin with. <laughs> like, nostalgia was not a thing for this game for me, and it, it's... Completing the game didn't make it any better. <laughs> I have never heard of somebody actually liking this game. I mean, there's some other games that are showing sort of bad, like Super Sponge, for instance, that at least people who kind of grew up with it still seem to have, think it has its charm and still enjoy it in some capacity, I'm sure. This game, I've never heard of someone liking it, <laughs> so... Oh, man. Oh, well. But everything kind of went uphill from here, I think. In a way, it's kind of nice to see how far some of the games came from this one, with how bad it was at this point, but yet afterwards, it was... it turned out to be alright, usually. Like, the bar for some of the games is alright. Like, okay. And this was below that, but... Oh well. But, what am I going to play next after this? No idea, I guess I'll have to think about this weekend. Bye everyone.